and welcome back to Casual Antiques and today we're going to look at this little item. This is a very interesting little item and this is what I like to term as a real antique. Most of the stuff that we deal in uh, kind of comes from the 30s, 40s, 50s because that's very popular at the moment and technically they're not antiques, they're vintage. The definition of antique is something that's 100 years old or more. And this little fella is an unusual little thing, very rare. It's a, let's see, shall we? It opens on a hinge, perfectly opens by the way, which is shocking considering its date. Uh, inside is a little stick, I'll put this down for a second so I can show this. And out comes what is in effect a toothpick. So this is a toothpick box. And it's Georgian. It's made in the 1700s, and that's why it's a real antique. Inside, it's fully hallmarked. It would have had a gold wash at one stage, but that's kind of virtually gone. There's very small amounts of it left. Fully hallmarked with the London uh, maker, a London hallmark, George Burroughs. And this is hallmarked for London, 1797. So that makes it 223 years old still in relatively immaculate condition and a gentleman in the day would have kept his toothpick inside and he would have kept it in his little waistcoat pocket or or, or, or a convenient pocket and that would have been ready to pick his teeth when um, he'd finished his meal in a London uh, gentleman club along the mall or such thing. What is something like that worth today? It's really hard to give a price on it is what someone's willing to pay but it appeals to a few markets obviously you've got georgian silver it's solid silver the georgian silver market which is getting rarer uh, most silver today is bought by weight and melted down for modern day jewelry so georgian silver is getting harder to find you've also got um oddity market i mean it's quite an odd thing let's be fair who carries a two pick box around today when you can go into the pound shop and buy a hundred for a pound um uh, I would say this is worth somewhere between 250 and 300 pounds. And anyone who bought this, this is not for sale, by the way, anyone who bought this would be happy to pay that kind of money because it's just a, a really nice, rare item. And let's not forget, nothing haunts us like the antique we didn't buy.